This is the business end of the Rolls-Royce Griffin 57 and 58. It's a so-called counter-rotating reduction gear, which takes up to 2,500 horsepower from the crankshaft down here, through two sets of gears into two coaxial propeller shafts, each carrying a 13-foot diameter propeller. And these rotate at 0.4423 times the crankshaft speed, which is basically just under half engine speed. I mentioned that this was called a counter-rotating reduction gear. That's because the two coaxial prop shafts run in opposite directions, but at the same speed. This is achieved by having two sets of reduction gears, one behind the other. You can see the one at the back here. We have a pinion and a main wheel. And these have a ratio of 0.4423 to 1. Now, there's another pair of gears in the front there, which also have the same ratio, but they have slightly smaller teeth. So they have the same number of teeth as the back pair, but you end up with a gap in between them in the middle there. And the gap is taken up by this side-mounted idler gear here. And if you look at the operation of it, you'll see that the, the two gears here and here run in opposite directions to each other. And here's a close-up showing the meshing of the rear teeth and then the gap between the front pair of gears which is then taken up there and up here by the idler gear which you can see running on a roller bearing there. We also have an oil feed tube through here which goes all the way through to the front of the propeller shaft and this is what is used to control the pitch of the propeller blades. It uses engine oil and a hydraulic cylinder on the front of the propellers operating racks. The pinion, which is in line with the crankshaft here, also has an oil feed tube running through it for the end-to-end -end oil feed for the crankshaft. All in all, a very compact 2,500 horsepower gearbox. So let's just have one more look at the whole thing in action because it's um, such a marvel of human ingenuity.